YouTube. Get buzz out. Welcome back to more Nick Burst. Guys, in today's YouTube upload, we're bringing back a favorite. All right, we're reacting to ring doorbell craziness. Now, in this video, you're going to see people breaking the law. You're going to see some scary things, some weird things. Get ready. Buckle your seatbelt. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video, man. And drop a comment down below. I'm always interested in situations like this. What are you doing? Talk to me. Enjoy the upload. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, baby. The most disturbing things caught on In April 2021, a woman named Shayla Bryan and her husband oh, were inside their home in North Carolina mind. when their 13-year-old son went outside to walk their dog. As soon as he walked out the door, the ring camera footage captured a suspicious silver BMW stop in front of the family's front lawn, after which a strange Crazy man got timing. out of the vehicle and approached the teenager. Oh no. I love when we can hear the audio. In a BMW too, huh? Without even introducing himself, the man asked the boy if he lives in the neighborhood. According to the teenager's mother, she and her husband had taught their son about stranger danger multiple times in the past, but on this particular occasion, the boy appeared to freeze up out of fear. What's most disturbing about the recording is that the man didn't waste a split second to get out of the car and talk to the boy, right. which suggests he was either prowling around the neighborhood waiting for someone to step right. out of the house, God. or he was very familiar with the Bryant Damn, family's man. routine and was specifically targeting the boy. Fortunately, the teenager's father was able to intervene before anything could happen. W. Oh. What you, what you got to ask my son? Oh. Um, I was wondering about the airplane noise. Talking to my son and he ain't, he ain't got no adult out here. Now, that's kind of creepy. Good. When the boy's father confronts him, the stranger is forced to think quickly on his feet and blurts out that he was wondering about the airplane noise in the area. Obviously, it doesn't make a lot of sense to be driving around a random neighborhood waiting for a 13-year-old kid to walk out of his house just to ask him a question like that, and the father doesn't appear to buy the story for a second. Yeah, Shayla Bryant, the boy's ready. mother, mentioned she remained apprehensive after I know the that incident, stance, man. especially ready. since it was never confirmed what exactly the man was planning to do. The suspect drove off soon after and was never seen again. In August 2019, a security camera inside a home in Troy, Michigan captured a suspicious Troy. man walking up the stairs and looking around the house. Wow. Based on his body language, it doesn't look like he knows his way around the home, and that's because he broke in. Although the next part of the incident wasn't caught on camera, a few seconds after walking up the stairs, the man walked into the homeowner's bedroom, where he found her sleeping. Oh God. Disturbingly, the woman reported that she woke up screaming to the man standing over her bed. The intruder immediately ran out of the house, but even with the footage, police were left with no leads on who this could have been or how he had gotten in. It wasn't until two months later in October of that year that the same man was once again captured on camera in another home in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Oh my God, he's just, oh, oh, look at him, look at him. Oh, this guy's asking for it. In this incident, the man can be seen climbing onto the hot tub and Pretty peering through the window too. for That's a few a clear seconds picture, before walking away. Although the incident was also reported by this homeowner, the man continued to dodge the police for several months after that. He got caught, dude. Then, in January 2020, the man made yet another appearance in the area. In this instance, he peered through the kitchen window of a house in Bloomfield Township and hid behind a tree, after which the homeowner received a notification from his home security camera alerting him to the stranger's presence. Even though the first part of the incident wasn't caught on camera, footage of the man walking along the side of the house was later released. They're probably just trying to take some stuff from different houses. There's no way he didn't get caught, right? I mean, his face is Once again, the intruder day. evaded the authorities, and it wasn't until a few days later that the police finally made a break in the case. In February 2020, the same man was seen by a cop running from a residential yard in Bloomfield Township in the same neighborhood as the last time he was captured on video. Wow. This time, he was arrested, issued a citation and a restraining order, and forced to wear a GPS tether until his court date. The man was identified as 27-year-old Donovan Johnson, and it was later revealed that he worked as a bankruptcy attorney. 
What? After he was put in jail and released on bond, wow. there were no further updates on the case. But if he was convicted, it's likely he's still serving time to this day. That's pretty weird. In September 2018, a man named Jeff Mill law, uploaded a disturbing that. video to his channel, which he titled, Man Trying to Enter My Home in the Middle of the Night. In it, a creepy man can be seen approaching the front door of a home and seemingly attempting to find a way in. Taking a piss? What's he doing? He peeing? At first, the break-in seems pretty non-threatening, but a few seconds later, the man begins pulling on the doorknob and talking to himself. Oh, this guy... Oh my god, get that eyeball out of my face, man. Ew. Give me a fish. Those pupils are dialed, man. Some of what he says you can somewhat make out, but most of it is unclear. Blinking. Before the man can go any further with his break-in attempt, the homeowner calls out from a window and threatens to call the police. Okay, I was just going to confront a dog, fight him! Whoa. Oh, he's got Don't guys. Don't have like that and stuff, honey. You know, we could be friends. <gasps> oh. The man gives an almost laughable excuse, saying he was just looking for his dog, Fido. He then tells the woman that they could be friends before walking off into the night. Whoa. The man was never seen again by the uploader, and they still have no idea what his Talking intentions himself. were if he had gotten into the house. Eesh. This terrifying footage was captured in April 2023 in Connecticut. Terrifying? At 9.30 a.m., a man was recorded walking up the front door of a house wearing an orange vest and holding a package in his hand. As What's soon as the right homeowner opens doing, the door, though? things get disturbing no. pretty quickly. What's that right hand doing? Nope. To make himself seem more genuine, the man pretends to read an address on the package as the homeowner makes his way to the door. But little did he know, the man wasn't there to deliver a package. I don't think this is for you. Wow. In an attempt to confuse the homeowner, the man tries to give him the package, but when the owner hesitates, the suspect immediately pulls out a weapon and tries to back the owner into his house. Wow. However, the homeowner pushes the man away before retreating into his home. After the armed man ran away, he was identified wow. by police as 37-year-old Xavier Otero, who was man. arrested that's, at a family member's a house in nearby Hartford, Connecticut. Good for him, though, man. Otero was promptly charged guy. with home invasion, threatening, criminal possession of a firearm, wow. and criminal Shoved attempt back, to commit man, unlawful restraint. During the investigation, Thank the God cops learned about shot. an alleged plot to take part in a home invasion, where the occupants of the home were going to be restrained with zip ties and oh. robbed at gunpoint. Oh. The suspect also mentioned something about possibly invading a second home in Manchester, Connecticut. While executing a search and seizure warrant on the home where they found Otero, police said they found approximately 1.1 kilograms of drugs and other items commonly used in the operation of a drug factory. There you go. In the same room, the cops found a bag full of heavy-duty zip ties. Shortly after Otero's arrest, police also took the driver of the truck into custody and charged him with conspiracy to commit home invasion and conspiracy to commit unlawful restraint. A month after these arrests, a third suspect was taken into custody, where he was identified as the mastermind behind the operation and promptly sentenced to prison. As of now, all three suspects are still in jail. W. 
rot. This eerie and confusing footage was captured by a homeowner's ring camera one night in August 2023 in an otherwise peaceful neighborhood in Bowling Green, Ohio. In the footage, a masked man can be seen ringing the doorbell and immediately running away. Ain't nothing good happening in Ohio, man. Why do you run? What's he doing? Initially, the incident appears to be a pretty lame ding-dong ditch attempt, which almost every homeowner has been the victim of at some point or another. But looking closely at the footage, you'll notice the man never actually ran away. Is he standing there? Oh my god. While the man stood in the middle of the street staring eerily at the door, the homeowner made his way down the stairs after being woken up by the sound of the doorbell. As soon as he saw this figure just eyeing him down in the middle of the street, he called the cops. The next day, Bowling Green Police posted the video on Facebook, asking the man's neighbors to help identify the masked intruder. And it didn't take long for other residents of the area to complain that they had been through similar incidents in the days leading up to the uploading of the video. What a weirdo. Following the incident, the man was never identified by police. He's just ringing doorbells His intentions instead. are still unknown. So you wouldn't be able to mess with me like that, man. On a rainy morning in 2020, a ring camera captured no a woman walking up to the front door of a house and ringing the doorbell repeatedly. What's she doing? Why she look like that? Why is her mouth open like that? What's she doing? Ew, bro. Strangely, the woman keeps her mouth wide open almost the entire time. But it's unclear if this is due to the influence of drugs, or maybe if it's a symptom of potential illness. Yeah, what is that? Are After a few seconds of waiting, the woman turns on? around and leaves. I've never seen that. The fact that is she that can drugs? be seen apparently putting her fingers in her mouth as she turns to leave suggests that she might have been in pain, a theory that was echoed by several viewers in the Reddit thread where the clip was originally posted. Other viewers suggested the woman might have been sleepwalking as a result of some powerful sleep medication. But because the clip was captured at 6 a.m., it's also possible that she had been wandering around all night. However, it remains unclear if the woman was genuinely asking for help or if she was possibly planning to do something else entirely. This footage was captured at around 1.35 p.m. on October 16, 2018 in Alberta, Canada. According to the homeowner, he received a motion alert from his ring camera while he was at work. Because it was unusual for him to have visitors in the middle of the day, he immediately activated the live view feature, and that's when he saw this. Oof. These scumbags with their vests, man. Acting like they're something they're not. I hate this shit. I can't believe how common this is. Or seems to be, anyway. At first, he mentioned how he didn't think there was anything strange going on, seeing how the visitor was dressed similarly to most utility and telecom workers in the area. But after the man began banging insistently on the door and peering through the window into the house, he immediately became suspicious. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to open the door now. I can't believe we haven't seen any videos where someone just shoots straight through their door. I really can't. The respect, the, well, this is Canada, but what's this guy doing in here? Oh, he's saying, come, come, come. What's that? After Walking prying top. at the door with a glove to avoid leaving fingerprints, the man motions to oh, his accomplice wow. to come oh, wow. to the door, okay. and that's when okay. things get even more disturbing. What is this? These guys are so bricked, man. Like you're look, you just pointed at the fucking camera, man. man. These guys are so dumb, man. Jesus. Couple Get away from the door. While the man in the Yankees cap acts as a lookout, the man in the vest uses what appears to be a large screwdriver to violently pry the door open and break in. After managing to get the door partially open, the homeowner manages to activate the two-way talk function and makes his presence known. After the video was made public, the homeowner was interviewed by local police about the incident. The video was then posted to Facebook, right where many neighbors and nearby residents claimed to know who God, the two men were. Man. However, it was never confirmed that the two suspects were apprehended. 
based Wh on what was captured not? on video, the two men were most likely planning an armed robbery. But with no further context, it's impossible to know if that's really what they had in mind, or if they plan to do something worse. As of this upload, there have been no further updates on the incident. Dude, what is happening? God, man. STUPIDO!